Good to see you, mate. Take one of the rifles from the table. Now I'm going to block the targets with a sheet of plywood. Bullets will trade oh my God. like wood, plaster, and sheet metal. I want you to shoot the targets through the wood. Good. Proper good job, mate. Now go get a sidearm from the armory. Good. Now switch to your rifle. Now pull out your sidearm. Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Class is in session, noobs. Let's get to it. What is going on? My name is Tenek127, and welcome to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a little tip, you know, recommendations and stuff like that. Now, don't get me wrong. This video isn't going to be, you know, some MLG status pro tips and everything. But, you know, I just think people, um, you know, forget a lot of the basics of Call of Duty. And, you know, everyone's so obsessed with, you know, being mad about what Call of Duty has become that they forget about the really simple elements that made Call of Duty what it was in the first place. They keep forgetting that these are still here in the game to this day. And that's the reason I'm making this video. That's the reason for the sarcastic ass intro for you know who those didn't for those who didn't catch on already. But anyway guys, what I want to talk about today is the biggest problem and biggest complaint I see going on with Infinite Warfare besides, you know, the advanced movement system, the supply drops and all that stuff. Now I'm talking about something simple dealing with the gameplay, you know, something that, you know, can help you out. And that is the fact that snipers are overpowered. Now, you know, there's a lot of things we um we forget, you know, dealing with um with snipers. The only thing that comes to everybody's minds is, man, it's a sniper. I can't believe he's using that gun so close range. They're so quick. And blah, 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 blah. You know, that's obvious. You know, that's the, the typical problem. Anybody you know who gets shot point blank with a sniper rifle, in all reality, you're dead. If it happens to you in Battlefield, you're dead. It's very un less likely to happen in Battlefield in that way. But you're dead. You know, regardless, you know, what game, what game it is, you know, and stuff like that. You are dead because sniper rifles are lethal weapons. Now, key, I want you all to keep that in mind. Let's dive into the head of a sniper real quick. Especially quick scopers. They they are, you know, they are the number one target here. Just so you guys know. Now I want y'all to think about something. People who use snipers, they want what? Quick, easy kills. One shot kills, and obviously, you know, because they want multiple easy kills, they don't want to die. So chances are they're targeting high kill counts and high kill streaks. So the number one thing a sniper's worried about is not dying. They're always looking around, always moving fast, always checking their back, hence why they use the high-ass sensitivity, which I'm sure you guys are aware of. You know, doing their trick shots and everything like that. Now, that's the advantage most of us have, which is the reason I played, again, played the intro. As you guys are watching this video, you guys are going to notice, you know, three simple clips where, you know, I'm using suppressive snap fire against a sniper. Quick scoper, sniper, whatever the case may be, you know. Um, there's a shining a shining light on a sniper rifle aiming at me. I'm dealing with the situation accordingly. That's the point. But now, you guys are probably going to say, well, you know, this isn't Battlefield. Suppressive fire doesn't work in here. Now, I'm not saying, you know, take a light machine gun and just, you know, light up that guy's cover hoping he's not going to pop out. No, because Call of Duty isn't exactly a tactical shooter per se. And big disclaimer here, this video isn't me saying that Call of Duty is a tactical shooter. But there are some common sense ethics, you know, you can use from FPS experience to help out our situation here. That's what I'm saying. Now, the main thing I want to I want to tell you guys is, which again is the reason I played the intro. A lot of the times, besides you know if they're just out in the open quick scoping, they're hiding behind something, peeking out, you know, trying to get little sneaky one shot kills. Now, the point of this video, you guys remember what Gaz said. If you forgot, I'll play it here again. Now I'm going to block the targets with a sheet of plywood. Bullets will penetrate thin, weak materials like wood, plaster, and sheet metal. Yes, bullets penetrate thin, weak material like wood, plaster, and sheet metal. Nine times out of ten, these guys are hiding behind one of these. Did y'all forget that a lot of the things in Call of Duty, besides, you know, crazy, heavy brick and steel-like cover, you can shoot through, even with silenced weapons in some case. So now, when I say suppressive fire, I don't mean, you know, just shoot at that person's cover aimlessly. No. 
I mean, shoot through that cover or hit him a few times. You know, and let that sniper know what's up. And you'll notice in each of these clips, that's the point I'm trying to make. Every time you hit them, they go back into cover immediately. Now, if you can shoot through that cover, keep in mind you, they're already hurt from, you know, when they were out. Shoot through that cover and finish them off. You can either finish them off or, you know, at least, you know, you can have them pin down. They're recovering their health for a second. And, you know, if you're, um, if you're using Phantom and his advantage, you actually, you know, have five seconds longer because their health doesn't recover right away to plot your next move. And you either, A, know where he's going to pop back out at, so you have the advantage of the, of the shot. Or, B, like I said, you can try, you know, shoot through that material he's hiding behind and finish the job. That's one way to deal with, you know, snipers from a range. Now, another thing I want to remember that people seem to keep forgetting about is one of the other most complained things about in Call of Duty is the drop shot. Now, let's talk about these quick scopers here, shall we? Let's talk about the bold ones. You know, the ones that like to jump in the open, do the 360 no scopes, and, you know, hard scope everybody and all that stuff, you know, in point blank range. Yeah, those guys. Those are the ones we're going to get. Well, keep in mind, to get those kind of shots, right, they need to hit you from either the waist up or chest up for that one shot kill. Well, what happens when you drop shot against one of these guys? I'll wait. You know, somebody that has to aim towards the upper half of your body. I'll wait. Yes. Unfortunately, I don't have footage of it happening in this video, obviously. But they're aiming higher. You drop shot, and they're already zoomed in their scope. They don't even see you at that point. You're completely out of their shot range. You know what you do? You either light up those pretty little legs, or you aim up a bit and shoot them in the groin. Finish the job. Because they have to zero out and readjust to you being on the ground. I kid you not. It's not a every it's not a every try thing because as you guys know, quick scopers are quick. There are a lot of them out there that are good at what they do. That's the reason a lot of them are pro players. But it sure as hell helps, I'm gonna say a good six or seven times out of ten it's definitely you know got me some success and you know helped me deal with these guys but anyway guys i just want to point out these two simple tips in this video because you know I, lo I know a lot of people are having trouble with snipers and stuff like that and like i said i just think you know my whole point is we're just so disappointed with call of duty right now we keep forgetting that the basic gameplay elements that we can use to our advantage and always have been able to use to our advantage are still here in the game but if y'all enjoyed this video and it helped you out be sure to give it a thumbs up and i want to thank you all so much for watching it's your boy tenek127 and Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.